Hi, Les from Thailand, retired and living the dream. And today we're going to do another car wash video, which means it's going to be a long one. But today it's going to be slightly different because I'm always singing the praises of Thailand. And it is, it's a wonderful place to live. But it also can have its frustrations. And this is what I'm going to be talking about to people who want to come and live over here in Thailand. Some of the frustrations that you will have whilst you're living here. So let's start washing the car and I'll go through this. So, this week has been a particularly frustrating week for me. I'm usually quite tolerant of, of things living here in Thailand because I've lived here for 12 years now and you sort of get used to, to certain things. But usually, when two or three things happen at the same time, your tolerance level goes down. And it's worn thin for me this week. And uh, normally I would just brush it over and say, oh yeah, okay, marble eye, which is like, oh, never mind. But no, I've got to say, it got to me this week. And it caused an argument between me and my wife over, over it, over various issues. And I'm going to go through these issues, what caused me to sort of lose, not lose me temper, but lose my patience and shout and scream a little bit at various things in the system and when all said and done it was over nothing really but sometimes a little thing can build up to a big thing and this is what happened this week because it's a multitude of things so here we're going to go the first thing I'm going to talk about is that we've just bought a new printer and the printer um, I wanted to print some cards, some greetings cards and things like that. So it has to be a special printer that would take the, the card size. So we went to, I won't mention the shop, for, for reasons that will become apparent later on as to in Thailand they have defamation laws and things like that. So I won't mention the shop but we bought it from a, a top brand shop and we bought the card and I asked my wife to ask the lady how much it was for a printer that would take this um, cardstock to be able to print it. Now looking on the internet, because I do a lot of research when I do anything, I always research everything to death. And um, I was looking at paying between 10 and 12,000 baht for this printer that would print this card size. So I was okay with that. So when the lady came back, and says this printer here does it for um, 6,400 say that's roughly about what it was I thought wait I'm on the winner here it's that's very very cheap compared to what I was looking at six um, ten to twelve to maybe fifteen thousand baht so I've got the card stock and I asked my wife to 100% talk to the lady and say 100% this is going to work. She said yes. And she showed us the specifications of it. And on the specifications, it said that it would cope with this card and more. Which, and I was happy that that was the case. And before we bought it, I said to the lady again, who, the manageress who could speak a little bit of English, but not a lot, pointed the card and said, 100%, 100% this is okay. She said yes. 100% this is okay. So happy that the fact that I'd saved quite a lot of money, you know, from 6,400 down, to, uh, yeah, from 15,000 out to 6,400, I was more than happy the money that I've saved and this machine was going to do the same thing that I was looking for. And then I got it on and then I put the card in and uh, the print quality was fantastic. The speed was pretty good. And then the card that I put in was like a double-sided photograph card. 250 GSM, now that's the thickness of the card. And the printer went up to 300 GSM. So when I put the card in, the card at 250 was like a bit of a banana. One way it bent that way, and the other way sort of like a banana. So when I put it in the banana way, it stuck, it jammed inside of the computer. Not the computer, the printer. 
So I thought, oh, maybe he's unloaded it wrong. So I sort of flexed it to take a little bit of the bend out. And I did 10. And four of them jammed into the computer, into the printer. I keep calling it a computer, printer. So I wasn't a happy man. So I got my wife to phone up the shop. Tie face thing. This is a difficult one. Ties don't like arguing. They don't like talking to people that in the shop and things like that because it's a severe loss of face. So anyway, I convinced my wife to t talk to the lady at the shop and say that the printer isn't working to how we want it to work. And the lady at the shop said, not our problem. And it was only a day old, but not our problem. Contact HP helpline. So, two hours later, on the HP helpline, listen to the lovely music, put me on hold. Two hours later, and the phone went off. So, a little bit angry now because nobody likes sitting for two hours on a telephone waiting for somebody to speak English to talk to you and the phone went dead. So my wife called back at the shop, a little bit angry, talking to the lady, listen, we've been on hold for two hours, and I said, nothing's happened. So she said, call the engineer, the engineer will come and have a look at it. So we called the number, that lady gave us the engineer, and he said, five days. I'll come and see you in five days. Well, Thailand has a return policy of seven days. Any more than seven days and you can't take it back. So I rang the shop again. And she said, oh, well, ring the engineer. Tell him, you know, to do it as quickly as possible. So anyway, long story short, the engineer said he'd come the following day. So we'd, we'd have the inspection before the five days, uh, seven days. So he came out the following day. He looked at it. I showed him the video of it getting stuck, the paper jamming in the machine. So he, he tested it. And guess what? It jammed in the machine. Whilst he was looking at it, and I'm, and I'm thinking, I'm on a win here. I'm on a win here now because the engineer has seen it stuck and uh, he can confirm that it doesn't do what it should be doing. <laughs> now here comes the funny bit. This is the funny bit, this is Thai mentality, Thai logic, which will get people frustrated because they look at it differently towards us. Now I'm not comparing Thailand to England because I've been told off for that so many times. This is Thailand, Les, not England. But those people who live in so let's say the Western countries, if there was a fault with a machine, you take the machine back to the shop and without question they'd give you a new one or ask you what the problem was or do you want to upgrade, things like that. In Thailand, no, 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 no. Once you've paid your money to a Thai person, you ain't getting your money back. That was a noisy one, wasn't it? So you're not, so not going to get any money back. So now the printer guy says to me, through the translation of my wife, because obviously I can't speak Thai, he can't speak English, so my wife was involved with the translation. And this is where it got a little bit heated, because... Uh, I'm laughing because I know what's coming next. I know what's coming because I've, I've relived this story. So now with the time man, this paper is proper paper from the same shop that I bought the, uh, the printer from. He said, you've got the wrong paper. It's the wrong type of paper. So I'm saying, fair enough, okay. It might be the wrong type of paper. So if it's the wrong type of paper, what's the type, right type of paper? He said, HP make the paper. 
HP. This was another make, but again, it was a, a branded make. It wasn't a cheap make because I wasn't looking at the cheap card. I wanted expensive card. So, so I said to the guy, through a translation with play, so this is going through backwards and forwards all the time, that if I bought the right card, it'd be okay. He said, yeah, it'll work if you get the right card, but this is the wrong card. So I said to my wife, okay, let's go to the shop and get some right card. This afternoon, now. So the man said there was nothing wrong with the machine. It was the card that was causing the problem because you put it in and it was already bent or had a small bend on it. So he told us where to go in Rayong. So I went to the shop and they said, HP don't make cards. They only make printers and computers and things like that. They don't make card. So what he told me was a load of baloney. The fact that it's the wrong paper. And when I asked him about the paper, because this was also involved with the printer guy who came not look at it, she brought me a, a thinner card, which was obviously going to work because it was a thinner card. And I said, no. I want the same card, use the same card. I brought the card with me. She says, no, it's too thick. I said, it says in the shop in the manufacturer's notes, 300, this is 250. Oh, well, sometimes it's gonna work and sometimes it isn't. So again, imagine, this is all translation between my wife and me and the shop owner, eh, not the shop owner, the the shop that we got told to take it to, who were going to inspect it. So I'm not happy with them. A little bit of friction, a little bit of arguing because it wasn't their fault. It was my fault. Even though the printer didn't work and it didn't do what it, what it said it was going to do on the can, it's my fault. So they suggested us taking it back to the shop. Well, we took it back to the shop and they said, not our problem. Not our problem. The card was, the engineer said the card was too thick. And I said, but you told me it would take the card 100%. Well, it's not our problem. The machine is working okay. So she tried and put card in the machine and she bent the paper. And I said, you can't bend the paper because it affects the coating. So she bent the paper and it went through perfect. She said, there you go, perfect. I said, do it again without bending the card. And sod's law, it went through okay. She said, there you go. Two times now it goes okay. What's the problem? I said, okay. I said, so you're telling... They, I keep stressing this. This is all through translation. I have to tell Ploy, Ploy tells the woman, the woman tells Ploy, and Ploy tells me. So it's a frustrating thing because you can't make them understand. So I says, you sent an engineer out. The engineer said, yes, it sticks. The engineer said, it's the wrong card. I went to the shop you told me to, to get the right card. There isn't a right card for this. It, it's designed to, to work the card. And you told me, and you showed me the specs, it works, and it should work. It should print, but it doesn't. It gets stuck. Well, sometimes it's going to work, sometimes it isn't. I said, I didn't buy my car, that one day it's going to work and then the next day it might not work. I said, same, with, I bought the printer, I brought it to think it's going to work every time. And I said, it's only a day old and it's stuck. She's worked perfect. So she says, we'll put you in touch with the HP helpline. So we sat in the shop for two hours to get a, an English translator on the HP. So the lady was very polite and very helpful on the phone in the helpline and uh, she asked what the problem was told her and she said oh it doesn't print both sides of that card it only prints one side it doesn't print both sides I said well the paper it's photographic paper and it, you can print on it both sides but one side's bent and the other side isn't she said well you're not, you can't print on the bent side I said, well, where does it say that on the instructions? That you, can't, you can only print one side. It says photo paper. I said, this is photo paper, but double-sided. 
So she puts me on hold, comes back, and she said, no, this printer only works on one side. I said, like I said, it doesn't say that on the instructions. Well, she said, there's nothing wrong with the printer because the printer prints okay. She said, I've talked to the engineer, and he said it prints okay. I said, yes, on one side, but not on the other. So she said, what do you want? What do you want? I said, I want to either upgrade to a printer that works and prints on both sides, or I want my money back. But the printer's okay, there's nothing wrong with the printer. I said, yes, there is. It's not working. So 10 minutes later, she come back, she said, put me in touch with one of the shop manageresses. So we talked to the manageress, and, oh, where's, where's my cleaning cloth? Hang on a minute, I'm just getting my cleaning cloth. So yeah, we talked to the, the manageress, and then you just seen a stern face. And I said to Ploy, we're going to get our money back. And Ploy said, how do you know? I said, just look at her face. And she came over, and from being all smiley and happy and helpful, to like, where's the box? Where's the box that the computer is? And she said, oh, well, the box is at home. She said, bring us the box back and we'll give you your money back. And being polite, I said, listen, I said, I'll buy an upgrade. She says, no, we're not going to sell you. We're not going to sell you a, a computer. Uh, we're not going to sell you a printer because if you have the same trouble, you're going to come back and cause more trouble. I said, I'm not causing trouble. Again, this is all through translation. And uh, <laughs> it was very heated. And I said, I'm not causing trouble. I said, I just want a printer that does what it says it's going to do. And this printer doesn't do it. We'll give you your money back. We'll give you your money back. So, we left the computer there, the um, printer there, and we came back and we brought the box back the following day. And we got a full refund. So then we went to Star City, which is in Rayon. And Star City does everything with computers, printers and things like that. And we bought our printer from a nice lady, uh, we've been to see her, if there was any problems, you took it to her and they fixed it there and then, and the service has been impeccable. And what a difference in attitude. When we went to have a word with a, a lady, she said, this printer will do it, exactly what you want. Again, all through translation, this printer will work, it'll do exactly what you want. And I said to play, explain to her the guarantee that I want then I want to know that it's working. And before I take it out of the shop, I want to see that it's working, 100%. So the lady said, yeah, yeah, no problem. So she so showed us an older model of it. She did a couple of test prints. And the quality, I've got to say, was very good. And I was happy, happy with that. And then I said, but I want you to test the new printer. So it came out of the box. And the woman said, if it doesn't work, I guarantee you don't have to buy it. She said, I guarantee it's going to work, and I guarantee it's not going to jam, and I guarantee it for two years. And she said, any problems, you bring it back here. She said, not to the, you know, like the shop that I bought the other one from. She said, we will fix it. She said, I guarantee it will work. It will do exactly what you want it to do. And uh, we did four test papers. And we sort of even bent the card the other way, so it was more bent when it went in the machine. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. But the job satisfaction that I had from her, totally different to the other shop. Totally, you know, once we bought the computer, it, the printer, as far as the shop's concerned, not interested. Not interested in getting it fixed. And they certainly don't want to give you your money back, but you'll find that in the whole of Thailand. You pay your money, you're not going to get it back. This was an exception, but this was over a two-day period and many arguments with me and my wife for misunderstandings and temperature getting high and frustrating with the language barrier because 
I couldn't understand what she was saying, whether she was saying exactly what I was saying, but there was a lot of heated emotion over the two days. And this is one of the bad sides of living in Thailand. In America, Australia, England, you have one little problem. You take it to the shop, what do you want? Do you want a new one? Or do you want to upgrade? Or do you want your money back? Well, that's how it used to be in England. Whether it's changed now or not, I don't really know. But that's the frustration of living in Thailand. And as much as I sing its praises, I'd still sooner live here than anywhere else in the world. That's just one of my frustrations of this week. I hope you've enjoyed the video. So from Les, retired and living the dream till the next one. Bye for now.